Ever strip the thread on a plastic RC car part? Sure have. In this video I will show you how I go about fixing said problem. So stay tuned. First up some plastic sprue. The plastic part in question. Next, some plastic cement. In my case, Tamiya. Some sprue cutters. File. And a hobby knife. And we are good to go. And if needed, a hobby file. Alright guys, welcome to part 2 of my vlog for my Kyosho Laser Alpha rebuild. The two front holes here that actually hold the, um, that hold the front bumper in place, it stripped the threads and I had to add much larger screws just to hold the threads in place now because this is a rebuild and restoration i really want to go back to the original size screws and not put big huge ones in so i need to fill those holes now there are many different products on the market there's uh, all different plastic epoxies and stuff which i've had certain success with but with old plastic such as this this is like late 90s um i find that the epoxy is much stronger than the plastic itself and it just pulls out when you go to put a screw in it'll just pull straight back out again it doesn't hold so what i've done in the past with plastic ones with that sorry with old plastic ones is a technique that I will show you in a second now I will have to say this is no way no in no way a definitive one and I'm not saying that it will definitely work but I've had a bit of success with it and I just thought I'd share it all right I'm going to take these pieces of plastic cover them in the Tamiya glue Whoop the Tamiya glue that helps and stick them in that hole those holes and then run some more glue in heaps of I found that the trick with this is heaps of glue works a treat now there's a little bit of burring over here that I'm going to deal with first so I'm going to clean up that burring a bit first so I just I will take my trusty hobby knife and just clean up the burring. Don't need to be too fastidious because it is going to be sanded and stuff once I am completely done. And if you're a youngster doing this, always have an adult help you with the with using one of these knives because they are very sharp. All right, and I've just got an old sanding stick that I use for my modelling, and I just want to give it a give it a light go over. I think that's good enough for the purposes that we're up there because it will be sanded again when I'm done but there we go two birds are gone all right so now what we do is we get our plastic glue get rid of some of the junk there get our plastic glue Tip that upside down so I can 
getting access to it in these little tiny things put some glue on it a good coating of glue and in the hole we go that's one in the hole, I don't know whether you can see that grab the other piece that I've got oh, don't drop it I've sort of made these just slightly wedge shaped so they can hopefully just jam into the holes alright second one look as it doesn't stick to my finger second one is in alright so we've got two in there guys now now for the fun bit waiting for it to dry once done it should look something like this then we take our clippers and we remove the excess like so just munch away on that excess done now we clean those up with a hobby file first and then we can get into it with the fine sandpaper whoop whip away at it get it nice and smooth looks good something like that now we get our fine sanding stick and we just give it a blast with that to smooth it down a little bit doesn't need too much that sanding stick not plastic so don't worry <laughs> All right, once sanded, we should look something like, yep, something like that. And that looks pretty good. All right guys, that's all there is for this video. The piece is now complete, all cleaned up and ready to be put back onto the car and have all of its guts reinserted we'll do that one in the next video so please stay tuned anyway if you're new to the channel welcome along please consider like sharing and subscribing and smashing on the bell so you don't miss any future content including future vlogs of the Kyosho Laser Alpha it's nearly it's getting there so anyway guys until next time Matt at RC Chronicles signing off catch you guys